So I've shown you guys how to do place marks, polygons, paths, image overlays, all to draw your own uh, story on Google Earth. But sometimes you're going to want larger KMLs, like say the 50 United States represented by polygons, or the United States interstate uh, uh, highway system. You don't want to have to draw that from scratch. Those layers are probably out there. You just got to know where to find them. So here's what I do. I go to Google and I'll type in what I'm looking for. In this case, it's the Appalachian Trail. And then I'll add either KML or KMZ to the end of it. Here it might take a few minutes to poke around the different websites to see what they have. In short order, you'll probably find a decent website that has what you're looking for. And what you'll be looking for is something that either you can download a KMZ file or a zip folder. If it's a zip folder, you'll need to ex uh, download it and extract it and then bring the KML. So what I've done is I've clicked on this. I do a save and then an open. And what you'll have in here is the KMZ. Now notice, this is really, really important. It, when you bring in a KMZ this way, it comes into your temporary places. And I don't know how this person has organized this folder. So I might take a few minutes to open it up to see where the layers are, how they look, what I want, maybe what I don't want. For example, this white line right here, which is the Appalachian Trail, that's not big enough for me. So I'm gonna go to properties, style and color, share style, and I'm gonna make that line orange so it's a brighter color and maybe make it a bit thicker. So I can adjust KMZs that other people have created by right-click properties. All right, now if this is something I wanna keep, this is the most important part. You're gonna drag this from temporary places up to your My Places, into your organization, and then make sure you do a File, Save, and then over to Save My Places. And now I was able, in just a few minutes, to go to Google, do a search, find the KMZ I want, bring it into Google Earth, adjust it to make it look and be organized the way I want, and then save it. So please remember, these rules of Google Earth never leave. Stay organized, right-click properties to edit things, and save and save often, and you'll be good to go. So in conclusion, that's what I do if I'm looking for a pre-made KML or KMZ out there for Google Earth. I just go to Google and do a search. Just make sure you add KMZ or KML to the end of it, and you'll probably find what you're looking for in just a few minutes. Thanks for watching, and map your world.